Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Before you print your documents, make sure you have the document properly set up by using the Page Setup dialog box. After that, you then want to check the way your document will print without having to waste paper by printing several copies until it is correct. Print Preview in Word lets you see how your document will actually print on paper according to the specifications you've set in the Page Setup dialog box. To view an opened document in Print Preview in Word, click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Print command at the left side of the Backstage view. The various print layout options you have already set within the Page Setup dialog box then appear to the right. The Print Preview of your document then appears to the right of those options. In the far lower right corner of the Backstage view, you can click and drag the Zoom slider to increase or decrease the Print Preview magnification. Alternatively, to display one full page of the document, click the adjacent Zoom to Page button. If you are printing multiple pages, then you can click the small left and right pointing arrows that appear at the bottom of the print preview to scroll through the pages to print. You can also click directly into the number box and type the page number of the page to display in print preview and then press the enter key on your keyboard to show it on screen. After previewing your document, you can then set any additional printing settings in the same area within the backstage view. In the Print section, enter the number of copies to print into the Copies Spinner box, or simply click the small up and down arrows to enter the total number of copies to print. In the Printer section, use the drop-down to select the name of the printer to which to print the document. In the Settings section, use the first drop-down to select what to print within your document. You can select either Print All Pages, Print Selection, Print Current Page, or Custom Print. Alternatively, you can make a selection from the Document Info section of this drop-down menu to print the selected information about the document. If you choose the Custom Print option, then enter the number of pages to print into the Pages text box. Page ranges can be sequential or non-sequential, or a combination of both. Separate sequential page ranges with the hyphen and non-sequential pages with the comma. If you hold your mouse pointer over the small icon to the right of the text box, you can see examples of how to enter custom page range references. Also, to toggle the printing of markups on or off, check or uncheck the Print Markup Command option in the same drop-down menu. Also, Note that you have additional toggle options that let you enable or disable the Only Print Odd Pages and Only Print Even Pages options. The next two drop-downs often let you choose whether to print single pages or use duplex printing and set collation printing options depending on the type of printer selected. The last few drop-downs in this area let you change many settings. You could also change through the Page Setup dialog box like Page Orientation, paper type, margins, and page scaling per sheet. This gives you the opportunity to easily change any settings for the print job here if needed. After choosing your printing options, just click the large print button at the top of the print section to begin printing. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.